Hi, it's Solomon. It's the money cafe. What's your relationship with money like? You know, there's this argument about nature and nurture and how maybe your economy is determined by the overall economy and the people who believe that. And there are people who believe that the overall economy affects your personal economy. Eventually, what happens to your money is determined by your decisions. So, money has its nature. Money has its way that it behaves. Money loves speed. Money loves change. And money loves producers. So, no matter how hard we try and we say um, we move income from the wealthy, the rich, and try to do a distribution approach and give the poor people money. If you don't get into the production part of the money equation, you will always have money going away from you because money always has its direction. There's a, a direction that money goes to. Money goes towards the producers, and away from the consumer. Who are you? What are you creating? You know, we measure a country's wealth by the number of goods and services, the total amount of goods and services that is produced. Not necessarily that is stock up, that is saved in. We talk about sales, we talk about revenue, we talk about production, we talk about GDP. have services, products, materials, resources that you can produce and exchange so that money finds its way to you. Some people have a negative relationship with money. <laughs> money doesn't like them much. They keep looking for it, looking for it and searching for it. But no structures in place. What relationship do you have with money? Is it negative? Is it positive? It is positive if you are creating money. If you have structures, if you have products, if you have services, if you have rudimentary creations that you have made to make money come to you. If not, you might just be on the consumption end because saving is saving for nothing if it's not being invested. Investment is how entrepreneurs get capital to start up new ventures. I have a material coming out, it's called We Should All Be Angels. You know how as angels we save the day? The angel investor saves the entrepreneur. So we say friends, families, these are the guys who provide the first step of capital in, any, in, in every business venture, an entrepreneurial concern. It's the same thing I'm saying to you. You're either the entrepreneur or you're the person who is pumping money into the entrepreneurial activity. Either ways, you're on the production side of the money equation. That is the relationship that you want to have with money. It is the relationship that helps money come to you. Money has direction and it goes towards yourselves. If you're not investing already, you should do that in Brass and books. It's a great place to put your money because what we do is use the money to become angel investors to several businesses and keep you on the production side of the money equation. What relationship do you have with money? Are you producing? Or are you trying to keep and stock and hide and save and, 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 and keep money useless? Money doesn't like to stay somewhere. Money is traditionally restless. It has velocity. They call it currency because it's supposed to be flowing like a current. Where does it flow to? Does it flow to you or does it flow away from you? Now, this is how money works. Money thinks that if it comes to you and it's not going to be able to move, it wouldn't come to you. It's like a child. A child who knows that this place is a place where they don't allow him to play. This place is a place where it is boring for him. Children usually will not go to those kind of places. But you see, a place where it can jump, a place where it can play, a child would like to go there. That's how money is. Money will go to a place where it is working, where it is made to work, put to live out its life purpose of movement, making things happen, of currency. Get on the production side of the money equation. That's just all I'm saying. <laughs>